Hello, in this tutorial series I'm explaining you how to use the Mendel desktop software to manage your scientific references in a very efficient way. And so far we have already used it to create a, a document in LibreOffice where these references and the reference list are managed automatically by the Mendel desktop, which is open here. So I see the um, same references over here. And now I'm going to show you how we can collaborate with other people by creating a group in the Mendel desktop and then sharing the group with other authors so that we can share the same references and maybe work on the same document at the same time. Or at least not at the same time, but anyway, um, in a uh, controlled manner and coordinated manner. So how to do this? One way is to go to the website and do it here, but you can also do everything here in the Mendel desktop software. So we are going to create a new group and this group will contain our references related to XR Gaming. So let's call it XR Gaming Research. Then you can give here a description. This group cons consists of research papers related to XR Gaming. Now there are three options for visibility of the group. You can make it private. But in the free version of Mendel Desktop, there is a limitation that you can only have one private group. Therefore, it's better to make it open. Um, and then, well, anybody can join the group, but at least I don't have anything to hide. The references are public. You can anyway get the papers from, from the internet, so I can make it as well public. Um, after creating the group, I can choose to invite people. You can also invite later, but you can invite at the same time. So I'm going to write here an email address of another user, Mendeley user. And if the user doesn't have Mendeley, they can join it. So it doesn't matter. Now I can continue the group. I can add, uh, there, there are three tabs here. Overview shows what has been going on in the group. Document shows what documents, what references the group has at the moment, nothing. And then member shows who are currently the mem members of the group and what are their roles. So before I go do anything else, I'm going to add these existing references. So how to add these references that I have here to the group? It's easy. Select them, drag and drop. Now you can see that they are here, the same references in two places. And indeed, these are copies now. So if I go ahead and, for example, change this Abraham et al's year to 2014, which is of course not true, but let's just change it for them for an example. And you can see that it's not 2014 here in Nexter Gaming Research Group, but if I go to my library, have a look at the same reference, it's still 2012. So you can see when you drag and drop references, it actually makes a copy. So you have to be a little bit careful about that. So now let's go to another profile. I have here a Windows installation with another user. And how can I get the same group here? For now, there are no groups here. So I'm going to check my email and accept the invitation. And then the group should be adding itself here. Just one moment. So what happened is that in the email, you get a link. When you go to the link, it opens the Mendeley website where you log in. And then you can choose to accept the invitation. And after you accept the invitation, you still cannot see the group here. The only thing you need to do is sync. And then you should have the same group here. You can see the members, there should be two. The owner of the group and John Doe, which is this current profile. But where are the documents? Well, whenever you work in a group, or whenever you're working with the Mendel desktop between different computers, you always have to remember to sync. So now I've added these documents to this group, but I didn't sync. So let's sync first. Wait a minute. It's uploading them to the cloud. You can see the progress at the bottom. Then we change back to this virtual box, virtual machine, and also sync here. And now we have the same documents here. Abraham with 2014 year. So let's say this author wants to add more papers. So let's add them. 
That's some, okay, that's some weird error. Let's add one by one if it doesn't work otherwise. Okay, now it added them. So we have now five more papers added. And well, we can of course edit, we can check that everything is correct. But I'm just going to sync, upload the changes to the cloud. It takes a moment because I have now the PDF files to upload as well. Now, if I go back to the original, the group owner, and sync here, we can see the same references. That's pretty, pretty useful when you're working with more than one people, uh, more than one person, like in, in addition to yourself. So. Now, of course, I can go back to this document that we have and start adding references. For example, this uh, Harfield. One more thing. Um, it's not visible here. Why not? You have to select either my library or a group. So we are working with the group now. And the Harfield reference is only in the group because the other guy was sharing it. So now the Harfield was added also to the list. So that's how you share a group, share a group of references with your colleagues and synchronize between more than one person working on the same document. Now you have to be careful, always remember to synchronize, otherwise the other guys cannot see your references. Whenever you make changes to the Mendeley Whenever you add things, you edit things, delete, always remember to synchronize. And when you start to edit again, or you open Mendeley for the first time, first thing, hit sync, so you get the latest stuff, stuff from the cloud. Thanks for watching. It has been fun.